it's time to level up. Even Steve Jobs knew back in 2003 when he said, Design is not just what it looks like and feels like. Design is how it works. I went deep into the most awarded, most inventive, most talked about websites of the year work and pulled out seven trends that you can actually take inspiration from and that are actually changing how the web works. Zero hype, zero fluff, just the real things that matter in 2025. Honestly, this is one video you want to save so you can come back to it later. The first web design is navigation that doesn't feel like navigation. This one from Stykovka has one of the coolest navigation systems I've seen in a while. The whole website feels like one giant canvas. You zoom into different sections instead of clicking into new pages and you can pan left or right to move around. It's fast, smooth and really fun to use. Second trend is intentional disruption with layout. The moment you land on the page, you're thrown into a bold scroll experience with 3D elements flying in and transitions that feel more like scenes in a movie than sections on a website. There is a horizontal scroll, layered animations and big visual shifts that keep you locked in. Third trend is macro animations. We've seen micro interactions before, a button wiggle here, a hover glow there. One site that does this really well is Immersive Gardens Portfolio. The second you land, the whole site feels alive. Move your cursor and the background reacts, scroll, and the next section doesn't just load. It transforms into a place like a scene transition in a movie. Or look at Active Theory. Every part of the experience is tied to motion. As you move through the site, section shifts, rotate, dissolve, and it all happens in a sync with your actions. It's not just animation for fun, it's animation that guides you through the story. The fourth trend is cursor play that actually feels interactive. A great example is the stripe.dev site. The cursor isn't just a pointer, it's how you interact with the page. You've got floating windows, draggable panels, checklists, you can move all of them around just by clicking and dragging. Then there's OB's agency portfolio. As you explore the site, the cursor dynamically transforms, sometimes into a play button, sometimes into a zoom tool, and other times into directional cue that nudges you to scroll. Fifth trend is smart video in place of static visuals. For the longest time, feature sections on websites were filled with screenshots, static images, or some abstract background shapes. But in 2025, more and more sites are swapping those for a short, purposeful video. Take Hooli for example. Instead of showing a static UI mock-up, they use quick 5-10 to 10 second videos that actually show the feature in action. And these videos don't autoplay the second you load the page. They wait until you scroll into view or hover so they feel deliberate, not distracting. One of the cleanest examples of this is on Apple's macOS Sequoia page. When you're learning about new features like the video viewer in Safari, the video doesn't just highlight things, it pulls the feature into focus. Samsung does something similar on the Galaxy S25 Ultra page. As different sections come into view, like the processor, AI engine, or battery life, the visuals start playing. You're not just reading specs, you're activating them. It gives each feature weight and presence one at a time. The sixth trend is expressive typography that sets the trend. Look at Flow Party's website. It's loud, it's fun, the typography plays a huge role in that. The font isn't just about delivering information, it's delivering attitude. Chunky letters, playful sizing, bold contrasts, it's all coming together to set a specific tone. This site is here to have fun. Same goes for Xenia Renjux. I'm sorry for butchering her name portfolio. She doesn't just pick one nice font and call it a day. She jumps between styles, big outlines, tight caps, stretch forms, and uses type like a visual rhythm. The layout could be minimal, but the type makes it feel alive. What makes this trend work is the balance. It's expressive, but still usable. The final trend we're looking into is web design that feels handcrafted. Check out this Therapy in London website. They've led hand-drawn elements around the site. From the illustrations to the even strokes around the photos, it makes the whole thing feel more human, more real. And when you're selling something as personal as therapy, that emotional connection matters. Leave all the website links down in the pinned comment so you can check them out for yourself and explore how they actually work. Click here if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.